waste of time, money and effort. As you grains know, Salty Crafter is not just a mystery to me, but I think she's a mystery to the universe as a whole. Because even though you and I take regular baths, you know, once a month. What? I've never seen Salty Crafter go into the bathtub nor into the shower. The most I've ever seen her do was either kind of like a cat, lick her hand and then lick her head. And I've also seen her just take snow and put it on her face. I'm not quite sure anyone's told her that's not how you do it. Is my nose red? Probably. Is my voice blocked? Because your voice can be blocked too. Yes, most definitely. When I'm feeling down, there's nothing I love more than taking a warm, sometimes very scorching bath. What temperature do you like your baths? A good bath bomb and some YouTube videos. And so for this week, I figured the perfect kit would be Kiss Naturals Bath Fizzy. This kit was sent to me by one of the brains, and I finally got a chance to get to it. Kiss Naturals is one of those companies that I do respect because they did contact me to get more of my feedback, and they even sent me a thank you gift for telling them to remove one of their products off the shelves. So part of me feels guilty, and the other one feels very happy. If you're a Canadian, this kit will cost you approximately $20. And if you're from the US, it'll cost you about $15. Since y'all like Angel, I took him to a safe zone that he's okay with. You're okay with here? Yeah, I thought so. I don't know why you grains like him. He's very abusive towards me, right? Don't bite me. All right, Angel, I need to ask you a question that probably most people are asking right now. Are you a better burb? Then Ari, you are? I didn't say it, he said it. I'm just, I don't want any part of this war. Jaden, if Ari has anything to say, that's your war, not mine, right? All this to say, <laughs> this week's shout outs go to Claudia Golda and Azit Koman. If you want a shout out in my Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. You ready to go to your cage now? Time to find out what we get inside. We get about 100 grams of their secret formula, which they've admitted is baking soda and citric acid. We also get some witch hazel, which is good news because some of you grains were saying how adding olive oil or any of the other oils that we've been adding into the Karina Garcia and guava poop kits are not the right kind of oils. And you did suggest witch hazel. That's good news. We get a tropical sunset scent, which although my nose is somewhat blocked, smells of coconuts and Play-Doh, but that's probably just my nose. A mold comprised of only hearts, eight of them, measuring cup and spoon. Wait, wait, I do want to bring something to your attention because that's the kind of person I am. I do research. This whole thing of bath bombs, which we're going to be using in one turn, is 100 grams. Whereas if we're looking at lush type bath bombs, anywhere between 110 to 200 grams is about $7. $7 for about 200-ish grams, versus $20 for 100-ish grams. It, it kind of feels like a little bit of a... A scavenge! Bit of a scavenge for your wallet! So the instruction is very clear. We're emptying the whole pouch, measuring 10 milliliters of the witch hazel, putting the whole fragrance, mixing it, putting it in, waiting two hours, and then we can use it. As we can see, the whole mixture that they wanted us to use in one shot fills up not only the mold that they give us, but we have extra, which means that if we don't use it immediately, it's going to start drying out and be wasted. So I'm going to put it in another mold because y'all know I hate wasting things. Two hours later. All right, so here we are two hours later. I'm going to unmold them. Let's see if they keep their shape. Why am I so worried? Don't break. Let's turn it this way. Try. Maybe I was too aggressive in the compacting. Okay, so parts of it are okay to come out and the other parts may or may not crumble. Hardly looks like a heart. All right, let's bring these babies to the bathtub. 
You gonna join me? All right, so here we are downstairs. Oh, that's a lot of echo. 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 So I didn't fill up the tub just because I am 100% sure that these three little pellets are probably not even enough for a full tub. So let's just do it enough to my ankle. Don't mind the fluff. That's, I removed my socks so they're everywhere. All right, let's see the fizz. Ready, set, go. So it is pretty slow to actually fizz, which I can't say the same when it comes to the Karina Garcia and Guava juice ones. Oh, wait, wait. Spoke too soon. I'm gonna put all three, because look, that's that's one in a whole tub. All right, there you go. For something called fizzy bath, you can barely hear the fizz. Listen. So instead of just calling it fizzy bath, why isn't it just called bath bomb kit? I have to admit though, it does smell really nice though. Did I say though? No, 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 no. And that's what our water looks like. Just a murky, unsatisfactory mess. <laughs> Absolute disappointment. <laughs> Time to find out. Is this kit worth it? If you're new to Salty Crafter, we're a bunch of nice people. We're, we're all grains. We just enjoy spreading the salt everywhere. As always, we're going to start with the cons, and if there are any pros, we'll make our way towards that. For $20, we are getting eight mini bath bombs. And even though that might seem like a lot, you would need a minimum of three of them just to go into the tub. Now at $20, let's say we're using three per bath, that's 2.66 usages out of this box, which means that every usage for a bath is about $7.52. All in Canadian, by the way. If we're going to look at the price, it is more expensive than a lush bath bomb, which is between 110 to 200 grams, instead of 100 grams for $20. So we're talking about 110 grams to 200 grams for seven bucks, or 100 grams for $20. That's, that's pricey. The molds only come in heart shapes. In previous kits, they did give a variety of molds. I don't know why this one is just hearts. Is it like only a Valentine's Day edition? I mean, it is for six plus. I expect fun shapes. Why are we getting sealable bag if we're supposed to use the whole thing? That's all I have to say about that. For 20 bucks, I'm a little disappointed that I don't have any kind of choice to actually customize this. We, we get one set. Whether you like it or not, that's the one you're stuck with. Even though the instructions specifically told us to use the whole bag, that whole bag is not enough for the mold. Could they not have included perhaps a ball mold or another shape just to make sure that we don't waste that powder? Even after I left it for two hours, it's still crumbly because I do have to push against the mold, which means inevitably you're gonna be a little aggressive it's gonna crack. It's not that moist. So why are we calling this a bath fizzy? Why is it a fizzy? How is it different from a bath bomb? What makes this special? I didn't see anything particularly interesting about this kit that wouldn't make me just buy a lush one that is way prettier and cheaper. When it comes to the bathtub water fizzing, it's underwhelming. I expect something fizzy other than bath bomb. On to the pros, because I like to be fair sometimes. It does smell nice. I like all fruity scents. We do get a jar of witch hazel, which is so different from the other craft kits from the Karina Garcia and Guava Poop, which means that the bathtub is not oily after we're done with it. So yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. This is an easy craft kit. Yeah, it would work for six, seven year old, not for anyone who's older than that and would want to reap a high benefit from a high effort. This one is a low effort, low benefit. Overall for $20 Canadian and 15 US, the kind of playability that we get from this, which is not much, and the end result, which is not that great, I would give this kit a four on 10 dorks. You do get something fizzy out of it. It does smell nice. You definitely know there are quality ingredients in there, which thankfully is safe for the environment. You know what, let's add that as our fourth pro. So even though it is a quality item, it doesn't make for a quality craft kit. Not for me anyways. Kiss Naturals does have some better craft kits. So if you're interested in those, I'll link them down below. But this one, I wouldn't put it on my list. 
Thank you so much for watching my little grains. If you want to watch a crafty video, check it out up here. And if you didn't get enough salt, I got more of that for you right over here. Until then, I will see you in the next video.